Okay, so I'm here and I'm actually going live as part of our consultations um, today. So as many of you know, I have done multiple things in relation to World Meeting of Families and World Youth Day. Um, I love working with families and I love working with youth. I've also been a teacher. I am a mother myself. Um, and really support and, and honor a family model, okay, of life and lifestyle. So I am saying this as part of our consultations today because of the reports that keep, com keep coming out of Ukraine and different people's responses to those reports about sexual violence. For the case of our foundation and in my own human being and person, as well as all of those who have suffered from atrocities at this time, not just in Ukraine, but in other countries, even throughout the pandemic, okay? I'm going to make it very clear here. We stand in solidarity with all women and children. We stand in solidarity with those who have been traumatized, hurt, abused, or sexually violated. And we will not be silent about it. We will not. And we will not excuse the behavior and we will not just not say anything or push it off or push it under the rug. That is not who we are as a foundation. And that's not the type of person that I am. And that is not any part of anything that we believe should be happening to people, especially as someone who does major consultations with World Meeting of Families and World Youth Day. So thank you to all of those who are advocating for women and children at this time and reaching out to them and supporting them and helping them through this difficulty and this time right now in Ukraine, as well as in all the other countries. And we are renewing our appeal as we have throughout this time for a ceasefire, a ceasefire and withdrawal of troops. In addition to the rest of the globe, the whole globe who has suffered through the pandemic and women and children have seen some of, some of these things and experienced some of these things happening to them during the pandemic as well. In other countries and other locations. Every single person is to be treated with human dignity and respect. That is part of our foundation here at the foundation. It's one of our grounding principles and why we do some of the work that we do and some of the consultations that we do. Every person is to be treated with human dignity and respect. That is also part of Catholic social teaching. No matter the country someone lives in, and no matter, you know, what, what job they have, what job they don't have, no matter what they're going through in their country, We have also done um, different coaching sessions with women who have had to work through these specific issues too. 
So in honor of all of those women, I, I am here today stating it is unjust, stating it needs to change, stating this needs to end. Believe me, this is not a topic we love to talk about. But we will not be silent while women and children are suffering. We will not. Just as we weren't silent when families were being ripped apart globally at different times, in different locations, in different countries, just as we're seeing now in Ukraine. So I, I will leave you with that. We stand in solidarity with all the women and children at this time and them being treated with human dignity and respect. We will continue to pray for all of you and to guide you in a way forward through this that honors human dignity and that respects all people. I'll leave you with that. Ciao and arrivederci.